Uh, okay, dipping in a third time and we haven't even started anything. y'all it's your girl breed a pre and i'm back with another video so uh, how do we feel about the background my sheet's a little dirty <laughs> so if you see like some dog hair or whatever it is what it is y'all i don't have a washer and dryer in my apartment okay she has to pay <laughs> more than two dollars like 250 275 just to wash so therefore we have a little bit of a wrinkly sheet but it is a backdrop nonetheless however you might still be able to hear my rabbits because they are ruckusing around back here and oreo is in between my lap so if you guys hear anything else in this video i apologize however we are here today we have gathered here today, ladies and gentlemen, to finally use the e.l.f. Mint collection. Um, I have everything except for the face mask. So I have the little eyeshadow. I didn't buy the one where it was like three browns and one mint because like I have enough browns. You know what I mean? Um, but we do have the eyeshadow palette, the primer, the face wash, the halo knockoff and the brushes so i'm gonna be using everything today except for this um because i'm not exactly sure how you use this <laughs> if i'm being completely honest i don't know do you use this to take makeup off or do you use this to wash your face let me know however i have already washed my face with the elf mint melt minty fresh fresh cooling cleanser it comes out like a foam i'm going to insert the clip here while i'm talking and so <laughs> but it comes out as a foam um i think i probably pumped like three pumps you don't need three pumps you probably only need two pumps but it's a very easy just like everyday cleanser it's not gonna like be a deep deep clean i think this is probably something that's better off like for a morning or at the end of the day when you weren't wearing makeup or if you want to go in and wash like you know you take all your makeup off and then you just want to like double cleanse this would be something good for that it's not harsh it did leave my skin feeling very very clean um just moisturize afterwards because it did make me feel a little bit dry but my skin is kind of like normal to dry i guess so um just keep that in mind but i do like the cleanser and i am going to implement it in um my skincare routines so there's that and i have used this primer before the um the mint milk cooling face primer it is pretty good but we're gonna get into that later because we're gonna start this off just like how i start off almost every makeup look and we're gonna do my eyes first I apologize for the terrible <laughs> do you guys see that I tried to put some concealer on but I should have put it on underneath and not on top but it is what it is this wig is from Amazon if you guys are interested in it I haven't really done anything to it I'm trying to like pull it apart if you guys are interested I'll link it down below but this is a synthetic wig from Amazon and I am like just leaving my fantasy moment so I'm just going to tuck my hair behind my ears because we are gonna do our eyes first i'm going to use a primer that i normally use so we can give these eyeshadows a fair shot and that's just going to be the anastasia eye primer okay so the eyes are primed there's not much <laughs> that you can do with this palette given the fact it's just two mattes and two shimmers but i mean it was only like three bucks or something so we're just gonna go in with this minty shade here and put that on thy crease. And for that, you already know I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics 101 brush because is there literally anything else that blends out a transition shade better? Let us zoom you in a little bit. Welcome to my freckles, y'all. And let's get this going here. Ah. Uh, okay, dipping in a third time and we haven't even started anything. I will say upon swatching this shade initially, um <laughs> it wasn't that impressive. And I understand that pastels 
are you know a little bit harder to get pigmented and to work with but I mean this is like the sixth time me dipping and I'm like really scraping it in there every time y'all see my brush disappearing I'm dipping back into this minty shade like every time y'all see it going away like right now dipping and I'm like in here I'm like this is me like I'm like all up in there like it's not gentle I will say there's not a lot of fallout in the pan or kick up in the pan and there's really not any on my face all right I forgot about the brushes so this is how the brushes come this is how they look I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and <laughs> we can use them hopefully I totally forgot when I grabbed my brush so you get basically what it looks like is like one kind of blendy flat brush like a, but it's like a blender you have one actual packing flat brush and then you have this one that's like really dense so I'm gonna go in with this one right here are there numbers on here no it just says elf mint melt oh eye contour and I'm gonna go ahead and take the darker shade and start putting that in the outer corner and then like working it gently into the crease and then we might blend it out using a different brush so I'm just going to stamp this here first okay this is also like do you hear my rabbits right now do you hear that I got them, I made them their own Heidi house out of like a box that I had and they are just living their best lives. And they're trying to figure out how they want it placed. Like rabbits will rearrange um, their cage and stuff, like their home. And they'll move things around how they, fit, how they see fit. So they've been playing with it for a while trying to figure out a good place for it. And like digging in there and everything, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Ugh, I don't know how I feel, you guys. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna take this other brush and try to... I will say these brushes are very, very soft. They don't feel scratchy or dry or anything. I'm just building that up. Stamping it in to help hopefully with the pigment, unless this is like really how the shade, let's give it a swatch, shall we? Yeah, that's just really how that shade is. Look at that, do you guys see that? That's bad. That's better. I'm like, is this it? Me personally, I could have dealt with one shimmer and one more darker matte, like me personally. I feel like this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm not sure if you guys can see what's going on in this area right here it kind of looks a little inconsistent I didn't go in I kind of wanted to use both shimmers but I'm not sure first I'm just gonna go in with this lighter shimmer here this is how she looks. I'm gonna put that in the inner half and then I might just blend it out into this greeny shade right there. But I'm not really sure how those two would look with this like an army green that's going on. But you know what? We'll try it. Let me find me a flat brush. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna use the, the flat brush that came in the collection. I'm gonna go ahead though. Cause I already, okay. I already know where this is going, so I am going to spray my um, brush. I'm not sure if you can see that on the brush, it, and it like just is like real chunky. Oh, that's pretty. I like that.
this one has a lot of fallout. Do you guys see that? Can you see all of that? Right in there. I mean, it's getting everywhere. Do you guys see that? And then it even, like, girl. Anyways, I'm gonna take another brush and we're gonna go into this green shade. I'm not gonna spray it first. Let's see how it does. This one seems to be packed a lot more tighter than um, its counterpart. And I'm just going to see, can I blend? that green okay I guess we're gonna have to wet it if we want it to show up at all okay she's there she came to the party she came a little late but she came all right I'm gonna go do the other eye and clean up this whole entire thing and then we'll be back to do the primers and stuff and I am gonna do some comparison swatches what i'm going to do some comparison swatches with the ColourPop mint palette so i'll be right back this is how the eyes are looking is it something revolutionary no for some reason the eye i did off camera i feel like looks better than this eye do we see that i don't understand what i did to deserve such hatred from the makeup gods but like it is what it is at this point you know what I mean so let's get into some of these swatches so I'm going to swatch the entire elf palette first of all this shade feels like absolute trash I'm gonna give these a good little swatch because we're gonna do some comparison swatches so I'm gonna put the elf okay Put the elf here. Well, that mint one is disappointing. Even in yeah, when I was swatching it, it was even disappointing. I'm, I built it up though, so this one I built up three times. So there is all the swatches from the elf. Now, which this is what's hilarious to me. This says on the back the mint melt eyeshadow meant to be. Uh, you guys probably can't see it. It's too small. What were you doing, Elf? There are other things you could have called it mint condition. You could have called it breath mint. You could have called it mentalizer. Like you could have called it so many things. You had a copy off of ColourPop. Now, there are a couple shades in here. So this shade looks like, look at this, but ColourPop is ghetto, look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch that. Um, this shade looks like a shade in there as well. And then this other other shade. I hate these plastic ones. They just move like get a better system color pop, please. Please. And then this shade here looks just damn, they're all just moving around. Okay. Look at this. The only shade that looks a little bit different are these two greens here. Literally, it's the exact same thing. Like I said, I only bought this palette for review purposes for this video. It's only $3. But if you're wondering if you should get it and you already have the Meant to Be palette, which I feel like is just a better palette because, I mean, yeah, it costs a little bit more money. It's still inexpensive, but you have other directions you could go. You can go into a Tealy route. You can do these two and do like a little khaki moment. You've got this gunmetal-esque shimmer shade here. There are so many other variations you can do. They both lack depth in my opinion, but I mean, what can you expect from like a pastel shadow? What I, the only thing I don't like about ColourPop's plastic ones is like, get a better job like make it tighter these three up here always move around and it's super annoying but me personally if i had to choose between elf or ColourPop, like i'm gonna choose the elf one i mean the ColourPop one any day of the week that's just me personally i didn't have these same blending issues that i had with the ColourPop one the shades are literally the exact same so maybe if you want to try out the other one, which is just dumb, because it's literally only one mint shade in all browns, like, ooh, don't hurt yourself. But whatever, we are moving on. So into the primer, this is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This one does kind of remind me, like, with the color of the, um, 
doesn't smell like anything, but of like the milk hydro grip. So I feel like I've sanitized my hands already. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. I've used this primer before, like once before. It's not, how do I still have fallout? Like how? It's not like anything revolutionary. I personally prefer well, I like a pore filling primer, but this is also like a good ass primer. So, and it does leave your face feeling sticky. I'm pretty sure it says you're supposed to like wait or something. Does it say that? Yeah, wait 30 seconds. So we are going to go ahead and go in with today the e.l.f. Um, Camo CC Cream because I have yet to try this and I hope I got my shade. I got the shade Light 240W. I have this conspiracy theory that I'm no longer neutral and I have warm undertones or I was never neutral or certain things I'm not neutral in. So we're going to try some more warmer toned um, foundations on this channel because do you guys like how I put on like a mint shirt and I'm just like living my best mint fantasy. Okay, I feel like it's been about 30 seconds, so let's go ahead and get this out. So this is the Camo CC Cream. It's color correcting. It's supposed to be full coverage, and it's supposed to give you a natural finish. It's supposed to have collagens, peptides, and niacinamide in here, and it also has SPF 30 in here as well. Um, it says you can wear it as a moisturizer and a full coverage foundation, depending on your needs. And it says to apply 15 hours before sun exposure and reapply at least every two hours. I'm not going to be reapplying every two hours. This isn't like real sunscreen. I suggest if it is summertime and you actually do want real sunscreen. Well, I guess you're supposed to wear sunscreen regardless of weather conditions. But ain't going to catch me with the CC cream. So this is how it looks there. Very thick in my opinion for a CC cream. Especially if I compare it to like the ColourPop one. Um, which is my favorite. I am going to use a beauty for this we'll see how it goes and if I want to switch to a brush I will I just feel like in my opinion when it comes to these more watery or consistencies I prefer beauty sponge or like the CC creams I prefer beauty sponge um, because I just feel like it applies better it doesn't really have a distinct smell and if you ask me I mean, I feel like it goes into my neck. I feel like this is a pretty good color for me. I feel like out of all the choices, I chose the best, maybe. And I do feel like it's really spreading out. Do you hear them just really creating? Every time I film, y'all, they're they're dead in here. Like, they're dead. I get in here to get dressed. They're quiet. The mornings are quiet. Whatever I fucking pull out the camera, the bunnies just go ape shit. They're just trying to show out. I'm thinking about doing an animal related video on my channel. Just about the fact that I have a cat, a dog, and two rabbits. And what my life is like with four animals and three different species of animals. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I know it's not like my normal content. Or like maybe a morning routine where I show you like how I feed everybody and take care of everybody. You know, Chase, my cat is on medication. And, you know, rabbits are higher maintenance. So I do have like a morning routine that I do. So I'm thinking about filming something like that. I always forget though. Like I get done feeding everybody and I'm like, damn, <laughs> like I forgot. Now it said two pumps. I'm gonna go ahead and do, I did do two pumps, but I'm gonna take a little bit more just for my forehead, just like a half a pump. Literally like that much. That's fine. Now, as you can see, I did have a blemish over here. You can still kind of see it right there. And I do struggle with darkness around my lips and you can, my mouth, and you can still kind of see that. So let's take one more pump. It said you can build it to full coverage. I'm gonna take one more pump and put it, let's see if it really does build up. I feel like it built up a little bit. I don't think you're gonna get like a cake face, full coverage. I mean, if you look closely, I'll zoom you guys in. You can still see, you can still see my freckles. 
they're really visible which I don't mind I actually like that which is why I prefer to wear like CC cream because you can actually see some pimples you can still see like a color from a little pimple I had here and that is still very apparent and then here in the, my little dark circles you can kind of see um we don't like that um hmm I do like the finish of this though as you can see I am getting a little bit of like a skin like just like a little bit of, of a glow um which I'm gonna credit to the foundation because I I just used the light moisturizer this morning so I do like the finish like if you really wanted to you probably could put this in your hands and rub it in just for like a light evening of the skin tone Okay, with my purchase, I did get a free, like, they call this their highlighting brush. I'm going to use this to set my under eyes. For that, I'm just going to set with some Bare Minerals because, well, I tried to keep this elf, but I don't know if we can, like, it's a halo glow good for the under eyes. That's what I'm arguing. Let's try it. I'm going to do half halo glow and half Bare Minerals powder. Ooh. I don't like how that happened. I feel like it made my eye look dark. I feel like this is the kind of thing that will slide around. Especially if you're trying to tell me I need to reapply every two hours. Like what are we at the pool? Like what's happening here? And of course the eye watering has started on both eyes today. We got both eyes going. It always happens when, I don't know if it's when the concealer comes into play or if it's when the powder for the concealer comes into play. I should really figure that out. For the rest of the face now, I'm just gonna go in with the just a straight up halo glow because I do actually really like this powder. So. Okay. We ran into some technical difficulties which is why I did not film everything else. <laughs> but for the under eyes, all I did was I put this LA Girl Neon Gel Liner in the shade uh, Fresh on my inner, like on my waterline. And I just took the dark shade and blended it out with the mint shade underneath. Um, I put a green mascara from L'Oreal on the Laura Lash Line. I have on Shop Masse lashes in the style Melissa. And then for highlight, I went in with the ColourPop Light Stick in the shade uh, U, UOE No. And I also topped it off with Nicole Guerrero with these two on my forehead and everywhere else. So that's what we did. For lips, I went ahead and went with the LA Girl Lip Liner in the shade bare it's a nude and then i just topped that off with the fenty gloss bomb in the shade baby brett or something like that i don't know it's a mini one it was part of the holiday collection because i'm having this lip thing going on right now and it's kind of a little bit annoying so that's what we did for that and here is how everything turned now my eyes have watered so I'm kind of dealing with a lot up in this area because it's still watering. So what would I recommend from this collection? Um, definitely check out the primer um, if you're looking for a dupe for or just looking for another gripping primer that's at least expensive. Definitely would recommend the primer. I do like the brushes. However, it's only three brushes. If, if you feel like you have enough brushes, you can skip out on it. Um, I do enjoy the cleanser. I feel like it's very affordable and you get a lot of product in here. This feels really soft and really good quality if you're into like these halo knockoffs. I have to try it though. Um, and then as far as the eyeshadow, I would just, if you would have the ColourPop one, I would just pass. Or if you have any mint <laughs> eyeshadow in your collection, I would just pass. Now if you want to extend your collection and you don't want to pay that much money because you're experimenting with colors and everything, yeah, these are cool. It's only three bucks and um you know it got the job done um so it's just not my favorite thing and then the cc now i want to show you guys some stuff come up in here for the cc camo cream okay do we see this 
Do we see all of that? And all of this. Look at that. Just look at my skin. Now I kind of saved it a little bit because I used the Milani Dewy setting mist, but I just feel like me personally, it's oh also this is the worst. Look at this. Y'all see that? It's already cracking and I've set it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say this is not like the most long wearing foundation. Now it never claimed to be though, so there's that. But um, if you're just going out, <laughs> once the snow stops, it's snowing right now as I'm talking to you guys. It's been crazy over here in Indiana, the amount of snow. I feel like this is the most snow you've gotten in years. It's just crazy. Um, but yeah, like summertime, if you're just like going to the beach with your friends and it's gonna be real quick and you're just trying to look like fresh, I, I would say it's for you. If I had to choose between ColourPop, no, if I had to choose between um, the pretty fresh ColourPop and this, I'm gonna choose the ColourPop one. So if you have that one, I would say you can go ahead and skip out on this. It's cool, I'm glad I, I mean, it's nice to have it in my collection and everything like that. I squirted, that spray just like squirted out so aggressively over here. But yeah, I think it's cool, but like I said, it's just not like my personal favorite. So that was my thoughts and my demo slash review of the e.l.f. mint collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please have a great day. I hope you found this video somewhat educational, informative, entertaining. One of the three. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.